All right, welcome back. Um, we're going to start looking at some code now instead of, um, you know, kind of an overview stuff. We're going to start looking at what makes a Django class-based view. And we're going to start at the very bottom, um, which is a class called view, which is inside of court, which is inside of the Django, Django views generic. Um, and this is what all of the class-based views are, are based off of. So all the views that we talked about in the last episode are all going to be inheriting from view. And there's kind of an inheritance structure so that they, they'll inherit from different ones as well. But view is what they're all based off of. And let me preface this to say that view, you typically don't modify view. There, there's a few instances with with this patch and, and maybe um, some third-party libraries that modify the HTTP method names. Um, but typically, you're not going to be modifying view. So this might be one of the le one of the least informative or least important episodes, but this is going to give us kind of the groundwork for everything else. Um, so first, first of all, um, this HTTP methods name, um, we're able to modify what methods a view can accept. So say we don't want a view to be able to accept, or we only want a view to be able to accept a get request. Um, what we can do, for example, update, if we do this, uh, HTTP methods, say we do this and we just do get, right? Um, is it lowercase? Yeah. Now when we go into, when we go into our our blog application, um, we can get we can get this page, but when we when we go to update it, it normally it would do a post request, and let's see. Uh, did I save? HTTP methods. That's the right oh, method names. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's try that again. Um, let's try and update this again. So we can update, we can get it, but then when we go and update it, it, nothing happens. We can handle that and we can say like, like this isn't allowed or something. But right now it's just giving us back a 405, which is method not allowed. It should be 405 not, method not allowed. Um, so that's what HTTP method names does. And that is handled. Um, or that is handled in in like a function called HTTP method not allowed, where it checks to see what the request method was, and and sees if it was allowed. Um, this as view, um, as you probably remember, you've seen. We always call it with as view right here, um, because the way that the Django uh, URL router works is that it has to be a callable and so um, we have to have this as a function which is the as view function and that sets up like all the um, keyword arguments and the request response cycle and some other stuff maybe um, that I'm not really sure about but it's where it starts and as you can see here, it will then call um, dispatch, which dispatch is probably the most useful um, method here on the base view class because this is what maps um, this is what maps the the HTTP method to a function name. Um, so, for example, when it gets a GET request, when the server gets a GET request it knows that it to call a function called get. Um, so for example, my view, let's go ahead, I already wrote this stuff up, make sure that it works. Um, so we're gonna add a new view here called my view. Um, the URL is just calling the view, same thing as the other ones. And here we're gonna add a get, we're gonna add a get request that's just gonna do HTTP response. Um, you won't really ever do this, but this is kind of what happens behind the scenes. In all of these views down here, um, they're inheriting from view, which is doing all this magic stuff. 
Uh, and so here, when we do a get request to this list view, it is calling a method called get. Um, and it's doing stuff in there. So we're doing this on the base view, and we're just going to call a get. And we're going to see that this HTTP response um, is going to just do a hello world response. Uh, so we're going to blog my view. And here we can see that that is giving us that response that we saw. And so there's where Django is going to be doing all of its magic stuff. Inside of the get, it's going to be calling all this different stuff depending on which view we're using. And we're going to be talking a lot about that in future episodes. Um, but for here, this is all you guys get for now. And so in the dispatch also, we can also override the dispatch. And you might ask, why would we want to do that, right? Um, this is the this is going to run on all views. So for example, if we want to check if a user is logged in, um, <clears throat> we would tie into the dispatch. Um, we actually wouldn't do this because you would want to use a Django Braces, which is a third-party library, which extends Django class-based views. And I think maybe actually that's built into Django 1.9. They brought some of that stuff in. I'm not 100% sure. I should know that, but I don't. So um, there are add-ons that, that do stuff like this for you, but we're going to take a look at how they do it, right? That's what we're here for. And so in dispatch, any request that comes through this view is going to run into this dispatch. And so if we want to make sure that no request goes through um, without being authenticated, um, we're going to check to see if the user is authenticated. Um, if they are authenticated, we're going to run the super. Um, I'm probably going to do an episode on super later, but all this is saying is, is run. Um, just keep going. Keep going with what you're doing, man. Um, don't stop now. And we're just sending all of this in um, as it, uh, we're not changing anything. But if they aren't authenticated, then we're going to give back a 404. We're going to give back a 404. And obviously, we can do whatever we want here. We can do whatever we want. But for here, we're just going to do something simple. We're just going to raise a 404. So let's see if I'm logged in. I am not logged in. Um, let's make sure this is working. Um, so let's go ahead and log in now. Should I do this? Let's, <laughs> I I copied it with clipboard. I I wasn't planning on doing this, but let's let's give this a shot. See what happens. Um, and here we go. <clears throat> so now we're logged in, and we can go to this view. Um, so yeah, that's how you control dispatch. Um, there's other stuff. You know, if you want to do other things, if you want to check certain. You know, maybe, I don't know what you want to do, but <laughs> this is where you do it, right? And anything that you want to check on, on every request. Um, and you want to check it before fulfilling the response. Um, this is where you want to do it. You want to do it in the dispatch. Um, I just like to highlight again, you don't, you in the real world, you aren't actually going to be doing this. You would be using a third-party library, Django Braces, um, to do this, and then would and you can look at that, but it has something for you that you would just do like login or login required mix in. Um, but this is what it's doing. It's it's tying into the dispatch. Um, okay, and let's see if there's something else we want to look at here on the base view class. Um, just options. So options is going to handle the options request. And that, if you aren't familiar with it, it just checks to see which HTTP verbs are accepted on the server. And it passes back to the client what those methods are um, in the allow header. Um, and yeah, I think that's a good overview of, of view. Um, we're going to start looking at other things such as template view. Um, in the next episode is template view. Um, as you can see, this is. Um, based on view, as well as adding in some, some more cool stuff. And here you can see the get. But we're not going to look at it right now because we're going to look more at that in the next episode. So I will see you then.